Hey guys, today I am back with another TV show review. I'm reviewing part one of You Season 4. Now, I've never reviewed You on here before because I just haven't and I just started my, not just started, but my channel's like maybe a year old almost now, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, let's get into this season immediately. Um, yeah, this is very much so like my reviews are going to be giving, if you, you definitely have to like watch the show to watch my reviews and I definitely will be giving spoilers. So without further ado, here we go. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about last season too, because I didn't review it. And I think that season three was used best season so far. Okay, so for starters, the let's talk about how Netflix promoted this new season of You. Um, poorly, are we shocked? No, Netflix is always being really shady about how they promote their shows as if they don't want people to watch them. It's so bizarre. Um, next. It got released like in the middle of the week if I'm not mistaken like literally on like a Wednesday or something like that so not only did people not really know when it was gonna be released like yeah they put out a trailer and stuff but like you know you have to be reminded or whatever have you so not only did people not know the show was going to be released um, nobody really knew when it was coming out because I was like I had just been talking about it with my partner and I was like, oh, um, yeah, I love watching you. Like, cause they were like, oh, the last season you were cracking up. I was like, yeah, when does it come out? And I was like, oh my gosh, it comes out in like two days. And it was in the middle of the week. And I was like, that's so bizarre. Um, so yeah. And then the, I think it would have been really cool for one, them to promote it better for two, them to release it like today I mean I get they released on like a Wednesday right so I think it would have been really cool for them to release it um tomorrow or something like on Valentine's Day it's, it's February 13th right now that would have been really funny and whatever something for people to watch together um not the question begs were they just being like lazy or were they intentionally doing this like is this show not gonna get picked up for another season you know what I'm saying because it's getting weird uh which I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, at this point. If I was Penn Badgley, it's starting to give that he wants to move on to other things. You can tell at first this was definitely, like, a little passion project of his, and he was very, like, enthusiastic about playing Joe. But as the seasons go by, at least, I don't know, I, I can't really say too much because this is just part one. I don't want to get ahead of myself here and start to critique the show and then part two comes out and it's literally like amazing and it's the best season but I just have a feeling that it's not gonna be I'm still gonna appreciate it and like it but I don't think it's gonna be the best season because like they would have to do something just so insane in part two for it to be as good as season three at this point because part the first half of season three was so good all the characters were so good it's just not giving that even in the slightest so Anyways, but I was saying, I was like, as Penn Badgley, um, I would assume, like, you know, a lot of these actors get tied up in these Netflix shows, and then they have to, like, spend a lot of their time filming them and promoting them and whatever have you, and at some point they want to move on to other things and projects. So, I don't know if that's what he wants or if he really enjoys to work on you, but it seems like he might be wanting to, I would personally be wanting to move forward at some point, and it seems like he might, because... He made some comments basically like he asked for fewer sex scenes in the show because he wants to like honor his marriage and stuff like that and i don't think that necessarily means he doesn't want to do the show anymore but it's just like at a point where it's like why doesn't he just go on to another job where he doesn't have to you know be doing as many of these scenes or whatever like you know what i mean like does he take another role at this point I don't know it's cool that he can negotiate it but it's still kind of like it's giving like he might be ready to wrap it up i don't know 
I could be wrong. He, like like I said, I could be wrong. Um, there's something different about this season, you know? It just, yeah. That being said, can someone tell me if Greg Bertolini has always worked on this show? I probably can Google it, but I don't want to. I really don't. So let's get into the cast. I don't know why they're showing, of course they're showing the iconic cast members. <laughs> because nobody wants to see these cast members from this another season like this season was crazy it, 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 there's not even a photo like let's see i don't think you can get a photo of like all the characters nope you sure cannot so it's just gonna be like that that's crazy i'm sure i can probably go on like some kind of website and see it but Ooh, we'll hold up because I kind of okay I see some of them on here we'll just try we'll try because <laughs> I'm trying to remember every character let's start with Joe the main character Joe is really giving nothing this season um his inner monologues are very funny and I guess like I know he's trying to be like discreet and stuff but I don't know I don't know um at this point I think everybody's just like on board for Joe like no matter what he does people either like him or don't like him like people have decided that at this point so there's not really much that the writers can do to make me like hate him per se but this season it just felt like a lot of things were happening to him and he didn't have a lot of power and that could be interesting like plot wise but it wasn't this was a very boring season so yeah that's what we were giving um it like it's like one of those things where if you start to think about it too much you'll just tear the whole series apart there's too many plot points and or holes or whatever because it's just like okay so he becomes a professor Right. This don't even get me started on like the guy that meets him, the PI who's hired by Love's father to meet Joe. And I get that Joe's like OP at this point, but like that was mad OP. They were like, this guy was like, I'm hired to kill you. But you know, just because the sky's flu today, I'm not going to do it. Or he's like, I'm turning a new leaf. Like coincidentally today, I'm turning a new leaf. And um, here is this package of like, a new identity and you can take it and you can just go conveniently i mean yeah he did tell me he had to kill marianne but like joe ease once again easily found a way to maneuver through that situation a lot of the problems that he had this season felt very t temporary like it was very much so a quick fix so you were never really like worried or scared and you guys i feel like the writers and should be making it like making more decisions to get us like scared about Joe and his well-being because we know at this point he has like evaded so much BS so it's like they should really be thinking and working meticulously to give us plot points where we're still at the edge of our seat again like oh my god is he gonna die how is he gonna get out of this or whatever but, like each time as I was, I was watching everything I was like okay like I was literally not shook when Joe fell out of the window that was the most shook I was but then he was just like moving and stuff. I was like, cool. Cause I was like, there's no way. That one mad boy kept trying to kill Joe. Ooh, he was getting on my nerves. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, there's just like no, there are no stakes at all for him, but we're still supposed to feel like there are obviously. Cause that's what the plot wants us to do. Um, even with this person who is blackmailing him, like we could have done a lot of interesting things with this. And I'm not, not to say that the story and plot point are completely disinteresting and it's like completely terrible and crappy. Like, no, I still think it was like pretty solid storytelling this season. It just wasn't as entertaining 
as it should have been. And I felt like when they tried to take the whole murder mystery route, I got really excited because I was like, oh my gosh, this could be a nice new, like, re... Because I feel like each season should, like, try to revamp its itself in some kind of weird way. Kind of like Archer. Have anyone ever seen Archer? If you have, they have, like, seasons where they're, like, special specially themed like archer vice miami vice or like and they have like a retro season like you should have really leaned into this murder it, the show is so ridiculous like it's literally ridiculous so it should have really leaned into this murder mystery thing especially with knives out and the invitation and um what's the other one you guys know what i'm talking about this whole genre becoming more and more popular i don't know if they just like didn't see that coming which doesn't make sense because netflix literally released knives out they just self sabotage but if they i feel like really going into the murder mystery route would have been so good even on the last episode they tried to give us like a whodunit kind of episode and it was so boring like it was literally so boring so i just don't understand like i said joe's character is just going through the motions this season and um i need him to stand up also, I don't understand his obsession with this new girl, Kate. It makes no sense. His storyline with Marianne isn't wrapped up. We see that he's trying to change and be a new person. Okay, we get that. He's trying to be a better person, which, like, let's be honest, he has, he's doing it. He hasn't killed anybody, like, intentionally this season. Not that I can remember. Like, sometimes that would just be flying over my head. But he actively being a better person this season. But then you would think also being a better person would mean... Well, I guess he can't really not be involved with these British people because they're blackmailing him and it all happened so quickly. But yeah, I just, I guess I just want more of like a clear vision of what he's trying to accomplish other than just be a stalker. Because it, it seemed at first it was like he's changing for Marianne and then it was like, okay, I guess he's just changing for himself slash he's trying to be with Kate. It's also weird. It's all so weird. And their dynamic is not, it's just very, I don't care. Um, the uh, chemistry is not giving. It's not giving. Mm -mm. It's just not. Um, yeah. So hopefully in the next part of the season, we see Joe fighting for his life. <laughs> I know, like, I don't want him to die or anything. I like, I just need to see him fight for his life a little bit, even though he was literally fighting for his life at the end of this part one. I need to actually feel like he's about to get whacked. Like, stop playing with me. Um, yeah. I don't really know what else to say about Joe. Like, it would be cool to see him, you know dive more into there's so many like things they could really do with him if they really wanted to but of course the show is just like a little bit goofy but like they could dive into his past a little more they did a lot in the last season honestly when he had his child the fact that they really barely talked about his child or love which i mean like i guess but it didn't make sense even with like his inner monologue moments i was like i feel like he should be thinking a lot more about his son but maybe he can't maybe there's reasons for that like, I feel like we just, I just want to know more about him this season. Like, he's so, I feel like we're so far away from him this season, like, distanced. And I know that, like, we kind of don't really always know what Joe is thinking and all that kind of stuff. And he can kind of do things, like, you know, shock value things. But I feel like we understood him more in the first three seasons than we did, like, his motives in this new season that's it that's all i need him to like stay away from women and work on himself seriously but it would be interesting if they genuinely brought in a character that was like a match for him love was and i just would like to see like another character like that not like that but like i don't know somebody that like challenges him but not in a bad way necessarily so we'll see that somebody like accepts him because at the end of the day yes joe has murdered a lot of people but like he does have like his little skeletons in his closet and a lot of the times like some of those people were annoying the anti-vaxxer deserved to get whacked 
uh, Marianne's ex deserved to get whacked. Like, I'm, I just don't feel bad. I just can't. So, you know, love Quinn. She's gone. She's dead. She's not coming back. The little teaser trailer they put for part two had her in it. It's probably just a flashback because they, they're fighting for their lives at this point in Netflix. They know that part one was not giving anything. Literally nothing. Like crumbs. Nothing. Marianne, I'm going to assume that she's going to be in the second half a lot, okay? But I do remember... Um, when they were filming and like Tati, Gabrielle, people were kind of like keeping an eye on her on set. And I, if I'm not mistaken, she didn't film that much, like that many days. So what are we doing, Netflix? Like, what are we doing with her plot? Because it wasn't resolved. Is it just gonna, I mean, I guess it can be because she kind of just ran and it's just kind of like good for her, like literally good for her. But I don't know. It. I just felt like their closure we didn't we needed so much more like I felt like it would have been a bit more nuanced or she would have had a bit more questions for Joe but at the end of the day can you be mad at what she did no because she was literally protecting herself like she is what you like you know when you're screaming at the TV you're like run do this do that like Marianne literally does that so I can't be mad at her for it but at the same time I'm like I wish that she sat down and had a conversation with Joe, you know, like, I don't know, whatever. If they're done, they're done. But I think, I don't know. I keep, I keep saying we need more closure, but I feel like that was closure. Like she ran. <laughs> so that's, that, that's what we're getting. Um, Ellie wasn't in this season, but apparently Jenna Ortega was supposed to be in it. And I'm mad because it would have been really cute if she was the blackmailer or because there was the one student Nadia or whatever could you imagine if that was Ellie because you know how Joe gave her all that money and kept sending to her another thing like we should see Joe like writing letters to Ellie like so many things little things that they can be doing to make this show like I don't know like it's okay for shows to be goofy but like goofy stuff entertaining things can still be good and they're just like kind of brushing past a lot of this stuff um yeah hopefully they bring her back in the last season if they do a final season of this i think like they should just do one more and final season of you like it doesn't need to go on past this and i think they should just like bring back everybody from joe's past and like yeah and it'd be like a big boss fight and then he either just dies like barry at the end of barry sorry if you haven't seen it and i just spoiled it for you or um, we just have some like weirdo, not weirdo, but like he sails off into the sunset like Dexter, never again to be seen and completely just abandoning his child and killing his wife. <laughs> I don't remember if Dexter killed his wife or not. Um, I can't remember. I cannot remember, but she was definitely just as scary as he was and it's giving love. But anyways, um, Rita was my favorite love interest, but you know. I'm not even gonna talk about that because now I'm now I'm getting sad. Next person. Let's let's yeah let's talk because I can't even sit here and talk about I can a little bit, but in, let me give you an introduction to this to the side characters. The side characters this season were not giving. Um, I don't know what happened. I can tell you a little bit though. For starters, we were not given any character development at all. And it made no sense because there's a lot of times in the show where it just felt like I could be on my phone doing whatever and still be following the plot. And it's like in those moments, we should have been getting like crucial character development moments. It was so weird. Like it was just so unserious at times. When we got introduced to the main group of people, I was so excited. I mean, yes, a lot of them like die and on short notice, but like, I was like, oh my God, these people are gonna be fun. Like they can make or break this season. I think side characters are so important, especially in this kind of like, psych what is it? It's a psychological thriller, drama, whatever you wanna call it. So important. And if we know anything about watching the previous seasons of You, the side characters have literally made the show on top of the literal love interest who was so boring. We'll get into that. But like, I just don't know what was happening. 
when they were casting, when they were writing these characters. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Because these two, uh, Carrie and Sherry, they were serving last season. I was actually shocked to see some people were like, oh, we're so annoyed by them last season. I was like, they are so entertaining to me. Like, I do not know. <laughs> um, yeah, all the little neighbors in Madre Linda, they were serving. Like, that's mm -hmm, that's how you make a season, an iconic season, the best season of you. So... Let's get into Adam. Lucas Cage, how ironic is it that he was in, um, he was doing an audition and this director was literally making fun of his apartment because he thought he was on mute and he wasn't. And he was like basically being classes. And now he's playing a rich a-hole. I thought that was so funny, but um, um, I just was whelmed by this performance and this character. I feel like the rich playboy part of it, like, I don't know. Like, he played it well, but, like, it was just not really giving anything for me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just had, like, I had, I had no thoughts, really. I didn't have any thoughts. So that's that um i remember what was i watching over the summer do revenge and the boy they're both off of euphoria the other boy on euphoria that played um barbie fajera what is her character's name cat her played her boyfriend he kind of played like a douchey character in do revenge and like I literally hated him so much and that's how you play a douchey character like I need to be seething like I need to hate you and I did hate him a lot this character I was trying to figure out I was like is are we supposed to hate him like or is he just supposed to be really goofy and I just don't I can't take him seriously I don't care and that's just like it doesn't matter what the intention was for the character because at the end of the day I just didn't care um yeah and we tried to like do this whole thing where he liked to be like peed on and I was like cool okay okay anyways um she wasn't in the new season he wasn't in the new oh my gosh he's trash no no Nadia she was my favorite side character she literally was my favorite side character um she had more lines than like a lot of the other side characters so i can't really you know I'm not, i don't really have much to work with here she was so interesting to me i literally thought she was the person that blackmailed him like it being reese felt so obvious to me and made so much sense and it kind of made me mad that joe never really like like he kind of like felt iffy about him but he never really had a target on his back and it made no sense to me um i feel like it being reese was so obvious like how do you try to make a murder mystery season and make it the most obvious person that's your number one flop unless we're gonna get something grant like a bigger um reveal later on in the um part two that was just so underwhelming to me and even if it was kind of like obvious for it to be Nadia too, that could have been interesting on some level. And I don't know. Yeah, I just didn't really care about that. Um, anyways, she's a really cool character. I hope we see a lot of her in part two. We saw a little bit of her in part one and Joe kind of helping her. And they kind of have like this relationship that he had with Ellie a little bit. So I really like that. And um, I just hope she doesn't get like too caught up into things. Even though it does seem like she's like a little bit of a dark side, I don't think it's anywhere near as like how Joe is. So, but we never know. So I hope, like I said, I hope we see a lot more of her in this new season. And I just kind of like her conversations with Joe because through her character, we get to see, like, like I was like complaining about how Joe is just kind of like letting things happen to him this season. His moments when he's on screen with this actress, like with Nadia, 
like you kind of get to see into like his motivations you see his like human side because when he's around these british aristocrats he's just like really pissed off all the time and he doesn't want to be there but when he's around nadia he like laughs and he's like oh and she like kind of challenges she challenges him challenges challenges him <laughs> um you know when he makes certain remarks even though like joe's like pretty like woke or whatever <laughs> But she still kind of gives him a little bit of hell. And yeah, I just really like her character. She's cool with me. I hope she doesn't die or get, you know, messed up in any serious way. And Joe literally, you know, goes out of his way to help this character. So, cool beans. Um, yeah, love how she humanizes his character. I also like her as a separate character and what she brings to the plot, etc. Uh, Reese he's evil i just need him to he and he acted he was acting like he was giving i need him to be so evil in part two like i just need him to be diabolical and then i will be okay like that's all that is it period <laughs> um him running for mayor and being evil is just so on brand <laughs> oh god okay why do i feel like i skipped the actress that played kate Oh, yes, because I did. Kate? I don't know. I have nothing to say. Um, Let me say, let me, you know what? One, she has no chemistry with Joe. Uh, I don't understand why they're together or why they're attracted to each other. Because it seems like he, she does not like him every time they interact. I know that's like her whole thing. And you know what? It's just not giving. It's not. Um, And then like, his old thing is like i don't know it, it's interesting because this whole thing is like that the reason why he likes her is because she's different out of all of these rich snobby people but she's really not she's literally the richest out of all of them and if she felt that guilty or really you know was trying to be different she would not be hanging around them like i get it you don't choose who you're friends with or whatever but like this they're not like she literally dropped her father kind of but she still gets like perks of being a nepo baby i don't know i just i'm like okay whatever can she do something interesting at least and she never does never i did think it was funny when she literally sent the cops to joe's house though <laughs> like i was dying because once again it's like one of those moments where it's like is Joe gonna get away with this? And she sent them straight to his door. Like, she was like, okay, they're on their way so you can answer some questions. I was like, girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, she is somewhat of an interest, like intriguing character in the like sense that you just didn't really know much about her until the last final episodes where she reveals she's the biggest Nepo baby of all. Um, and then like, I don't know she's interesting i thought she was gonna be like really dark at some point but then she wasn't and i was like okay i i like certain things about her character like i'm not gonna lie but overall it's just not giving main character mm -mm. um i also have to say that i really liked sophie and blessing but they were just reduced to background characters and snarky comments uh i feel like sophie could have been so interesting same thing with blessing like a nigerian princess like please give me more and we got nothing so hopefully uh, once again in part two we get more because that was just kind of crazy there phoebe was very interesting to me i don't know she was uh i like the actress i like the way she played her and um yeah but once again nothing really happened to her character you know like she was in a relationship with Adam and then like they kind of have like their issues right now and she broke up with him and that was cool and that was good for her like she probably has the most character development out of everybody in this season so that was it was fun watching her and she's like interesting to watch and she's funny and she's super sweet kind of but she's still Nepo baby she's entertaining so I liked her and then, of course, we had Sophie's brother, who was, like, the kind of tortured artist. Um, he was an interesting character, too, until we learned what he did to his students. I thought that whole plotline was, like, also very interesting. So, 
they did like some of somewhat of a good job with that. I just wish we got to see more of him. But you know, he did kind of die. So, and that's the point of a murder mystery is people need to die. So, um, yeah, I also hope Dr. Nikki comes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So overall, this is my least favorite season of this show. Um, I really hope that the next part does a 180. And I think it's very possible, especially when they split these shows into two parts. Obviously, it's like, because they want people to talk about their show for a longer amount of time. But it's just, it's now where I'm having the conversation, it's just like you is one of those shows where it feels like it either needs to be released like once a week or all at once. It doesn't need to be split into two parts. It worked a lot for the Stranger Things, last season of Stranger Things, but I don't think it works for you. I think people will like forget about it and then it'll come back and it'll just be like weird but I guess like it's trending for a longer amount of time I don't know whatever um like I said this is my least favorite season I hope that they really wrap it up and do one final season I hope if it gets renewed for another season that that's it and you know it just doesn't need to go on for that much longer and they just need to put all of their efforts into making like one final decent season and wrapping up the story you like you know cohesively so yeah i'm excited for part two part two comes out like in um less than a month or so so i think it'll be like pretty big but i just don't think anything's ever gonna touch season three um yeah i will be back i don't want to say too much because like i said i don't want it to be like really good part two to be really good and i feel bad about this review but let me know what you guys think about part one of you season four for if you're looking forward to part two if you think that they should have more seasons like should this show last for like a really long time does it have the potential to do so um i personally just want to see pen badgley in different things as well like i just want to see him do other things because he is so charismatic and good as it as joe that i kind of think that like he carries the show and like he's too good for netflix in a sense or this project at this point and i just i'm ready to see much more and he's done everything that he can do with this character you know so yeah that's basically it and uh, thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next tv show review or whatever review you guys like to watch but thank you bye